James Kaufman, World News Report today, September 16th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, I made a mistake and got mixed up on what day it was, so I wanted to redo this partial eclipse of the harvest moon tomorrow evening. Tomorrow night's full moon is special for several reasons. Number one, it's the harvest moon, the full moon closest to the beginning of the northern autumn. Number two, it's a pedigree moon, slightly closer to earth than usual. And number three, it's going to be partially eclipsed by the shadow of our planet. This animation shows the moon grazing Earth's shadow during the early UTC hours of September 18th, but that would be September 17th tomorrow here in the U.S. The entire eclipse can be viewed in most of the Americas, Greenland, Europe, Africa, and much of the Middle East. Peak eclipse hours occur at 1044 Eastern Time tomorrow night, September 17th when a little more than 8% of the moon will be in shadow. That's Eastern Time. For folks in the Central Time Zone, that would be 6.44 in the evening, not even dark yet. Again, tomorrow, September 17th, when more than 8% of the moon will be in shadow. Mainstream media stories are trumpeting this as a supermoon eclipse. Indeed, it is a supermoon also known as a pedigree moon. The moon's orbit is an ellipse with one side, pedigree, about 50,000 kilometers closer than the other side, apogee. Full moons that occur on the pedigree side of the moon's orbit are extra big and bright. This week's harvest moon becomes full within 10 hours of pedigree, making it about 5% larger and 13% brighter than usual. So, folks, we're talking about tomorrow evening, not this evening, and I wanted to redo this and apologize. And I appreciate the two or three people that pointed that out. God bless. Please share and subscribe. Always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.